Good morning, guys. Uh, my name is Kalisa, and I started the Zero Point Energy uh, meditation yoga practice about three days ago, and I kind of uh, wanted to start monitoring my experience, uh, my journey. Um, this is something I'm doing just to um, ground myself. I really have been feeling some uh, really good things uh, after doing it the first day actually I was surprised and then this morning something happened that totally took me aback so I thought hmm wait a minute what is this so I've been reading about it learning a little bit more about it very beneficial for you and uh, so to get some more clarity I'll just take you on my journey but um, I did start doing it three days ago and um, so far so good for anyone who wants to start something new and get a little bit more clarity and grounded and uh, from what I've been reading and researching and experiencing these past three days it's really a good thing kind of quiet because uh, it's early in the morning I don't wake anybody up but definitely make sure it's quiet um, and make sure what, what I did do before this I prayed so um, I do that um, and so we're going to go ahead and get started. So what uh, I think is Dehesa, I got this from her video. I hope I'm saying her name right. But you clap 20 times, and then you clap 30 times, and then you rub your hands together where you can feel the energy um, building up in your hands where your hands are warm or uh, hot, depends. And then you start uh, closely holding the ball. And you really can feel the ball once you keep going. You're going to close your eyes while you're doing this. You're supposed to do it for three minutes. I'm not sure if uh, over time I'll increase uh, the minutes because it does feel good. And um, also, the ball is it, in your mind. It's, you just um, imagine it's an energy ball, right? And once you focus your attention right on this circle, it starts to feel like uh, a magnetic energy field where you can actually feel it going like it, it's not making a sound but it's feeling like it's going in out in out in out and the further you get it just feels like the energy that you're feeling in the middle is just like it's like a you actually feel the energy so today on my third day what I did was because I've been doing this for three days and so today I just felt the uh, my instinct said to go like this and I went like this and the further I went out I just felt because sometimes if you don't feel it you just move your hands closer until you feel it again and then what I did was I went like this and what happened was that my nose was kind of stuffy right because early in the morning and um I noticed when I went like this, my whole sinus area, like all of this just did an immediate clearing. And I was like, what the heck just happened? And see now I'm breathing in like there's no problem. I was like, oh my God, this is healing as well. Totally shocked. It shocked me because it, it almost did it like instantly and I was as soon as I went like this like about five times it just like my whole head just went like I felt something just clear my head out and I was like oh my god that was too cool so anyway we're going to go ahead and do it just to show you how it's supposed to go and then I'm going to end this video because I don't want it to be too long it's already four minutes but I don't want it to be too long but it'll definitely be three more minutes and so just kind of go along with me if you want. I will definitely be doing it every morning and letting you know what my experience is. And so uh, check me out because I'll definitely be um, getting into this, this new 2018 and, and see what it does and how it uh, helps in my life and possibly yours. So thanks for joining me here and we'll get started now. Okay, so we're going to clap 20 times. Breathe in, clap 30 times. And what we're going to do here is rub our hands 
to their warm. That's the energy. Okay. Make sure you do the tips, thumbs, palms, really good. And then you're going to just start to feel the ball of energy. Again, we're just imagining that there's a ball of energy there, but you'll actually feel it. And won't be saying anything, uh, no voices, anything like that. You'll just feel the energy. We are already energy. We just have to get in touch with our energy fields. You're just going to go in and out. And if your hands need to be really close at first, because the first day I did it, they were really close. And then I learned to just follow your intuition and keep going the further out that you feel comfortable going. So as you'll notice, I'm, I'm feeling or my intuition is saying to go further out. And depending on the direction that you're going, you may have to just go back in closer to make sure that you don't lose because you want to stay focused, definitely. But you'll feel exactly what I'm talking about once you start doing it. But don't be afraid to expand the ball of energy either. I think over time it, it gets stronger and the ball gets bigger and you can actually feel it. So if you take notice, um, as I'm narrating this, I'm seeing a little um, crinkle in between my brows. And I think that is where I start feeling the tingling in my uh, fingers. And so that was kind of different. But I really tried to make sure I stayed focused right in the middle. My hands are cupped, I believe, because it's kind of like the energy ball field that I was feeling. So if you notice, I start coming in a little closer just because my intuition was saying go a little closer so you can you know feel the energy more or you just kind of um, meditate and do like let let your intuition or your inner being uh, work with you and speak with you on this and I think this is what helps to connect with your inner being so that you're listening to it so that you're you're getting more connected more in tune with your inner self So right now, my intuition is telling me to expand in a different direction, but I've needed to go a little closer so that I don't lose the feeling of the magnetic energy that I'm feeling in between my hands.
So I'm going closer so that I could pick it up again. I think when you change fields or change um, position or direction, it just feels a little different. So you have to just go back. That should be about three minutes. Hope it wasn't too long. I would definitely narrate um, to let you know how I was feeling and what I was thinking. Um, but yeah, I did feel some tingling uh, in my fingers. Um, but I'll go back and narrate so I can watch and see what I was feeling and tell you what I was feeling during the video. So uh, this is day three. Um, so um, I'll be back on here tomorrow and let you guys know what my experience is. I hope this uh, will help someone um, else to uh, start on their journey of um, more grounding and clarification. And so, hey, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow. And um, happy grounding and getting to the zero point energy field or realm. I think this is going to be exciting. I'm going to love it. And I already love it. So anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. And uh, I will talk to you in the morning. And also, I found out that if you feel like doing it during the day, it's perfectly fine. You can do that. And I do feel that uh, at least two or three other times during the day. And so I'll just find a quiet place and just do it for a few minutes. And it's really been um, beneficial to me so far. So uh, anyway, thanks. See you guys tomorrow. Have a great day.